by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. President Trump's former campaign chairman is under house arrest this morning. I'm Hannah Doba with more on the three people in the criminal investigation potentially linking the Trump campaign to Russia. And former Montana Governor Judy Martz is dead. Coming up, how state polit political leaders from both sides of the aisle remember that pioneering governor. Thanks for joining us on this Halloween. Chet Lehman, Missy O'Malley with you. We've decked the set out in, Holloway, uh, in holiday colors uh, for that. Uh, our top national story this morning. Three people have been indicted. The first charges in the investigation into whether members of the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. The White House insists that none of this has anything to do with the president and instead is pointing fingers at the Hillary Clinton campaign. And now Clinton is pushing back. Hennadoba has the latest from New York. The White House is distancing itself from the first charges unveiled Monday in the investigation into a possible connection between the Trump campaign and Russia. The president tweeted in part, sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign. Also, there is no collusion. Manafort, Mr. Trump's former campaign manager, along with his business partner Rick Gates, face a dozen federal counts, including money laundering and conspiracy. Both pleaded not guilty. There is no evidence that Mr. Manafort or the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. In yet another twist, George Papadopoulos, a foreign policy advisor for the Trump campaign, was revealed to have pleaded guilty earlier this month. He admitted to lying about his dealings with the Russians to the FBI. The White House insists investigators are looking in the wrong direction. There's clear evidence of the Clinton campaign colluding with Russian intelligence. Hillary Clinton at an event Monday night promoting her book called Russian meddling in the election a clear and present danger to Western democracy. She also criticized the president for not coming down harder on Russia for its interference. We don't need a lengthy investigation to tell us that Trump is ignoring the intelligence community about an urgent threat. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle warned against calls to fire Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller or presidential pardons for those indicted. The White House suggested it has no plans to pursue either. And Adoba, CBS News. Manafort and Gates are now under house arrest. Papadoulos will face sentencing once the Mueller investigation is complete. Look at what I'm dealing with here. I did. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let me give you a hand with that. Oh, <laughs> thanks, thanks. Here's a... Yeah. Hey, a big shout-out to Gallatin Gateway School for loaning us <laughs> They this. loaned you so, that? Yes, absolutely. And we're giving That's it back awesome. to them and all the pieces uh, that Little known in. fact, uh, he and I were in the same class together out there. <laughs> yeah. I, I graduated a year before he did, so yeah, that was it. Yeah. Looking good. Would you thanks, look yeah. forward to? <laughs> hey, uh, this morning, a little on the cool side, um, chill you to the bones, for sure. For sure. Temperatures this morning into the teens and 20s for most of the area. I think that we'll be dealing with uh, fairly clear skies by the early part of the... Uh, afternoon, but we'll see the clouds building once again. Temperatures back near the 50 degree mark as you head later into the afternoon today. We're going to be dealing with some wind and there's a winter uh, storm watch in effect starting this evening. We're going to of course outline your wintry forecast for the week, work week. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Matt. 633 on this uh, Halloween. Our top story, a sad one this morning. Judy Martz, the first and only woman to serve as governor of Montana, has died. The 74 year old Martz, who had been fighting pink Pancreatic cancer died Monday morning. Mart served a single term of governor from 2001 through 2004. She's originally from Big Timber. Mart's competed as a speed skater in the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria in the 1500 meter race. She was plucked from political obscurity back in 1995 when then Governor Mark Roscoe chose her as his lieutenant governor. They won re-election on the Republican ticket in 1996 and Mart's ran for governor in 2000. She won a close victory over Democrat Mark O'Keefe to become Montana's first female governor. That year, as Governor Mart signed a major reform of Montana state income taxes, cutting the top rate from 11% to 6.9%. Mart chose not to run for re-election in 2004. And Montana's political leaders were quick to comment on the passing of Judy Martz. Today, Montana lost a trailblazing leader, said Republican U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte. Judy had a tremendous heart for our state and cared deeply for all Montanans. She will be missed. Democrat Senator John Tester said Governor Judy Martz shattered the glass ceiling at our state's capital, showing young women all across Montana what's possible if you work hard. Judy's faith, persistence, and leadership are a hallmark of her lasting legacy. And Governor Steve Bullock said, 
While she will always leave her mark in our history as a trailblazer for women, we will also remember the spirited enthusiasm that she brought in both her service to Montanans and through her lifelong love for our state. And Republican Senator Steve Daines called Governor Martz a woman of grit and faith. He said, quote, Judy was rarely seen without a pin of humble turtle on her lapel and would often invoke a saying that embodied her fearlessness and courage. The quote, behold the turtle. He only moves forward when his neck stuck out. Hmm. Funeral arrangements uh, for the former governor, by the way, are pending. Now on Wednesday, we'll find out what is included in President Trump's uh, tax cut plan. Last night, Senator Steve Daines po spoke with constituents, constituents at his 19th Teletown Hall meeting, touting the need for tax reform to help Montanans. Daines wants to see a state tax repealed, also known as the death tax. It assesses tax on your right to transfer property at your death. Agriculture is a number one economic driver in the state. Uh, and if we want to keep these farms and ranchers passed to the next generation without having to divide the ranches up to pay the tax bill, which sometimes happens, the best thing we could do here is to repeal the, the, uh, the death tax. Now, while Danes believes eliminating the so-called death tax is key, according to the Joint Committee on Taxation, 99.8% of estates owe no state tax at all. In other political news, U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte and another congressman from Arkansas stopped in Deer Lodge Monday to push a new forest management policy. Representative Gianforte invited Republican Representative Bruce Westerman, who uh, authored the Resilient Federal Forest Act that's designed to reduce bureaucracy and litigation that they believe is impeding the Forest Service and the timber industry from thinning forest and underbrush and causing large forest fires in Montana and other parts of the country. Managing forests gives us healthier forests, more wildlife, sporting opportunities, jobs, and less wildfires. So we need these mills. This issue is expected to come up for a vote Wednesday or Thursday, of course, in Washington. And the state assistant veterinarian says horse owners should be on the alert after a confirmation of equine infectious, infectious anemia in Gallatin County. Now, this is an incurable disease and it's very contagious. It's causing fever and weight loss. It's spread by insect bites. However, the owner of Broken Heart Ranch in Gallatin Gateway says that he is not worried. I really ha don't have any concern. Uh, it's a transmitted, as I understand, strictly by biting insects, mosquitoes, horse flies, etc. that we may have a, a much more prevalence of in the summer months, but we're going into fall right now. We've got a long winter ahead of us. There isn't such an insect around anymore. I could almost, uh, I wouldn't be concerned if I was neighboring somebody that had the, a positive horse as of right now, but uh, come next spring, uh, that might be different, yes. Now to learn a little bit more about equine infectious anemia, you can head on over to our websites. Montana Highway Patrol giving out Halloween treats, also using it as a way to make sure kids stay safe. MTN's Morgan Davies has the story. Montana Highway Patrol is giving out these bags so your kids can be safe before heading out to trick or treat. The bright orange bags are perfect to make sure that your child is seen in the dark while they are out Halloween night. This year the Highway Patrol made these really nice Halloween bags that obviously double as a backpack and have handles on them. And they have nice reflective stripes on them. And uh, they should be a good opportunity for kids to be safe while they're out uh, collecting candy and, and, and walk around their dark neighborhoods. Sergeant Barkas says another thing to be mindful of is the number of DUIs. They spike on Halloween night to about the same amount as MHP sees on New Year's Eve. Halloween's probably equally as big, if not bigger, uh, just in the amount of people that go out and celebrate and have a good time. And everybody should go out and celebrate and have a good time if they want to, but be smart, have a designated driver, and uh, be cognizant that even a couple drinks is going to slow your reaction time. And a slow reaction time will not help when there are princesses and superheroes running from house to house. You always have to look both ways, probably twice on Halloween. Kids are all amped up and excited and hopped up like crazy on candy. So you got to really be, be paying attention to everything going on around you. you Highway Patrol will be out in full force, making sure to stop drunk there drivers and that the kiddos stay safe. Reporting in Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News.
There now, if you like to get your hands on those Halloween bags, the uh, Highway Patrol office has them. Also, the Belgrade Police Department. If you don't know their addresses, you can find those on our websites. I feel like a lot of times I didn't get to start eating the candy till later, so I don't know if I was hopped up at the time, but he makes a good point. Now, all the people who posted that information were hopped up on candy when they posted it online, too, so you'll be able to find that. Oh, it is Tuesday morning, and you know what that means. When we return, it is time to take a look at our Montana Made Product of the Week. In a moment, we get to see some crafty skills that you might just want to adorn. Plus. Ahead on CBS This Morning, we're learning more about the former Trump campaign advisor who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. And Ricky Kleeman looks at how prosecutors are using money laundering charges to build their case against Paul Manafort and his business associate. See you at 7.